I just saw Bloodshot. <laughs> uh, let's talk about it. So, Bloodshot. <laughs> Man, this is a weird movie. Finally got to see this movie, and it's been a while. It took me a while to see this because, you know, I was going to go see it in theaters. That was actually one of the last movies I was going to go see in the theaters before this whole thing happened, right? But I didn't get the chance to see it, so it took me a while to go see this. They finally released it on a VOD, and I picked it up. And I don't, I don't even know what to say about this movie. This movie is, it's, it's not good. There's some kernels of good stuff in it, but it's, it, it's, it's, it's bad. Okay, <laughs> it's bad. So the story of Bloodshot is an origin story. You know, this is a comic book movie if you didn't know already, and uh, it's based off the character Bloodshot. And it tells the story of a dead soldier who is now filled with some nanites that basically makes him invincible. So every time he gets shot or punched or pummeled or crushed, he pretty much regenerates. And now he's just a hitman, but he doesn't know he's a hitman. It's it's really confusing, but simple at the same time. It's simple in the sense that if they were telling it differently, it would make sense. You would be like, okay, that's cool. But there's so many plot holes in here. Like he's a soldier in here. He's dead, I get that, but did he really die in the videos that they're showing? Because they show these like reoccurring dreams that are like programmed into him so he can go kill these people on this hit list. And then you're, they tell you, you know, he's a dead soldier, you know, he was born to do this. But then you start thinking, wait, how did he die? If this is just a recording of his supposed wife's death, the wife is real, spoilers, the wife is real, but did the way that he die is real is that the real thing it, who knows but in the beginning of this movie i, I was kind of like thrown off because the villain the first villain that they show because there's like multiple villains that do that look the same it's weird I, watch the movie if you want to know what i'm talking about but he looked like a little dicky to me it was it was re weird and i was like okay i can see why he's a villain i can see why you would want to kill him i mean looks like little dicky I, I get it but i would say the main problem with this movie is the editing it takes some really weird editing choices i don't know there's like sl random slow motion scenes so it makes it look like it's matrix for some reason we're like is this early 2000s i thought we we're in 2020 and then they'll do some like fade to black scenes where it's like i'm vin diesel you took my life from me fade to black and then they turn and it's like yeah i took your life away from you but um I'm sorry. Fade to black. Okay. I understand. Fade to black. It's it's so weird. Unnecessary. I don't know why they did it. And also the plot holes. The plot holes are pretty big in here. You can pretty much fall into them. We don't know anything about Vin Diesel's character. Um, we just know he's a soldier and he died. We don't know how he died. <laughs> we don't know what's going on with why these people are getting killed. Just because the bad guy in here doesn't like him that's all we know <laughs> that's all that's given to us we don't know these things that are inside Vin Diesel what where did they come from how did he develop them he just said I did it I developed them they're there they're inside you now it sounds really weird when I say it like that and there's a guy in here I don't really like I call him the gum guy because he has a thing with gum he puts gum underneath like tables he puts it on his shoe who purposely puts gum on the shoe? That's when I knew this guy, Vin Diesel, needs to punch him a couple of times. Because he puts gum on the shoe and then he puts it, he places his foot on some glass. And I was like, when is Vin Diesel going to kick your ass? But those characters are just forgettable, annoying. Um, there's a girl in here. I, I'm not going to even give the actress name. I know it sounds mean because it, it's not worth your time to know who's in here because it's Vin Diesel, Guy Pierce, and the guy that plays Wedge. That guy, that guy's cool. That guy, when he's introduced in here, the, the, the movie goes from a zero to a two. So there's also some like weird dubbing in here. Like they recorded the movie and then they are like, ah, oh, that doesn't sound right. Okay, let's do some voiceovers and they'll put it in there because there's scenes where people are literally talking, but it's like, and, but they're saying stuff. They're like saying text. Or they're not saying text, but they're saying stuff in here, and I'm like, their mouth's not moving. But yeah, guys, I I don't know, I don't know about this movie. It's 
I, it's not, I know I, people say this a lot, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's just boring and I think that's worse. But guys, let me know what you think of Bloodshot in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and um, check out my letterbox. I'm doing written reviews over there. Go check those out if you're into the, want to see some more input into my reviews, more information into my reviews, uh, or, or just more information about me. Also check out my Twitter so you can stay up to date with my channel. And as always guys, keep watching movies.